Italy's plan to expand its so-called Green Pass that we talked about a moment ago presents a new challenge to hotels and other businesses that have been reopening in recent months. Hotels like the luxury brand Rocco Forte, which has now opened all its locations in Europe, operating hotels across Italy, the UK, Germany and Belgium, founded by the hotelier Sir Rocco Forte after his family's iconic properties uh, were taken over by Granada Hotels in the 1990s. Rocco Forte hotels are now found in five countries and opening a new location in Shanghai. I am delighted that Sir Rocco Forte, chairman of Rocco Forte Hotels, joins us from Rome. Sir, I've been an admirer of your hotels and of you and your business for, for many years in the, in the way you, you run the true definition of hospitality. But at the moment, it is extremely difficult, isn't it, to, to know whether governments have got it right to reopen or how much of a risk is being taken. Where do you stand? Well, the uncertainty is the other way around. You can't run a business with the uncertainty that's going on at the moment. And it's, it's been disastrous for my industry. Uh, my last financial year, my turnover was 20% of a normal year. It's not just my industry, it's the airlines, it's, uh, it's the entertainment industry, Children can't go to school. Uh, parents can't go to work because their children are not at school. Uh, it's, a, it's a complete and utter disaster. And governments have been single-minded in, in looking at it in one, in one way, and they ignored everything else. They ignored the economy. Uh, they've no, they ignored the, uh, the other health uh, aspects, <laughs> outcomes that, that, have, uh, that have occurred as a result. All they worry about is 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 this is this disease, which is not uh, the worst disease that's ever hit the world. It's nothing like the bubonic plague, and your chances of dying for, from it, even if you catch it, are very small indeed. We, the the view of the governments has been, time and again, you know, you, lives versus livelihoods which is the, the argument that, that they put forward, that we have to deal with the, with, with the disease first. And whether one agrees with that or not, that we, we, we are where we are. But, Saraga, what can you do yes. now? What can you do what, now? What is, the, what is the point of vaccines? Why have we all been vaccinated and been encouraged to, to, uh, to, vac to be vaccinated if it makes no difference, if we can't carry on and go back to a normal life? And that's what's happening at the moment. The fact that uh, a majority of the population and certainly all the vulnerable people have been vaccinated, and yet we're continuing on, uh, continuing exactly as before. It's 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 absolutely unbelievable, and it's not just uh, it's the British government, of course, and and, and Britain is one of the countries as most advanced with vaccinations, as the, as is the United States, and they can't uh, they can't produce a protocol between them to allow Americans to come to the UK. And, and UK citizens to go to the United States. Uh, Italy, where I am at the moment, I'm in Rome, actually, in my Hotel de la Ville in, uh, in Rome, my new hotel there. Uh, and Italy, they've, they've opened up uh, the borders to the American, the American market, uh, and Americans are, becoming, are beginning to come here uh, again, which is, which is quite a relief. I was in Florence uh, just recently for an event called Duco, which is organized by a Brazilian lady, Carolina Perez, who are uh, showcasing Italian luxury hotels to the outside world. And there's right. a huge number of American travel agents uh, there, which is a sort of welcome, uh, w very welcome sight to me and so, other hoteliers uh, in Europe. So what, what, what will you do? You, you've got your hotels reopened and one imagines that business well, it will be better this year than last, but whether one ever makes any money um, is, I'm guessing you've had to put expansion, that sort of uh, a, a dream that, that's not going to happen uh, anytime soon. So how will you come out of the pandemic and what will you do next in terms of growth? Well, we just opened a hotel in, in Palermo, Villiger, which is the most iconic hotel uh, in, uh, in Europe, built in uh, the early 20th century. Uh, and uh, and actually, it's very full. Uh, uh, there's huge demand for it, uh, and and it's starting to work well uh, already. Uh, I'll end up with this 
more heavily indebted than I was uh, before. And obviously, that will affect the, the pace uh, of expansion programs unless I, I am able to refinance in a, uh, in a different way. Uh, but luckily, I, I, I've had the wherewithal to be able to survive all the money that's gone out the window uh, and, um, and, get, uh, and when things get back to normal, which I hope will be soon, uh, get on with running my business in a normal way. So, Rocco, thank you for joining us. We, we'll check in with you again, sir. We'll talk to you again before as the summer and the air moves on, if we may, so we find out how things are going, because it's very good to hear the barometer. I'm grateful for your time, Yes, sir. thank, well, thank you, you very much for inviting me and for your very kind remarks at the beginning. You're kind, sir. Thank you. And I'm a fire of yours, too. Well, I think that's a good time for us both to go our different ways, sir. Thank you. Good to talk to you tonight. Okay.